listen to the exchange and then the teachers had the had teachers from the adult sector and from the youth sector they were speaking the same language absolutely they were obviously going through the same things with different types of learners but the issues and um, what you said about um, you know having this you know organ having organized this space for our teachers to exchange you know, all teachers have different strengths and it was like putting all those strengths together well, and then it. like imagine how and we could see how strong of a community we became because we exchanged all those tricks and 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 you know and and best ways to yeah. Yeah. whereas being able for them to sit together like what you just said about the the community aspect we had people i mean granted we did have some teacher teams that came in from two school boards but then we also had people from different sectors. Mm -hmm. We had one, you know, we had two elementary teachers and one was from Saint Agathe and one was from Les Îles de la Madeleine or something. And yeah. then we had someone from the secondary sector and then the adult sector teams. But they, I felt that there was a community just in those six hours yeah. because they were sharing together. And I think that what, by creating that space, that's what I wanted, was to be able to give people the opportunity to share with each other what's working, but also, okay, what are some things that I'm worried about and how can I build off that energy from each other? Because one of the things that I'm learning, I just came into adult education about, I would say about five or six years ago, that the more I kind of speak with people in different sectors, the more we are all working towards the same.